Decorating your home can get so expensive unless you know how to find great thrifted home decor. I invite you to come along and thrift with me today and see how I transform my home with vintage thrifted vines. first stop of the day is here at Goodwill, but I'm going to be taking you to several estate sales as well, and I am going to show you what I bought and how I styled it in my home, giving you a lot of ideas for your thrifted finds. Hello and welcome everyone. If this is your first time to stop by my channel, my name is Lisa and I love home decor, but most of all, I love thrifted home decor, even better when it is vintage. I love to fill my home with treasures that have a history and a unique character to them. There is a misconception that expensive home decor equals quality and that thrifted home decor is junk. You can find beautiful and stylish home decor for your space and it doesn't have to be expensive. It does not have to break the bank. It absolutely can be budget friendly. And that is exactly what I am going to show you here today. It is so exciting when you find vintage ironstone dishware at the thrift store. This was a great little sugar dish. It would be the perfect starter piece if you're wanting to begin a collection of ironstone, or it would be a great addition if you already have a collection. And the price point on it was really good. These are vintage fruit creamer and sugar dishes. I could not find a maker's mark on them, but this was very popular back in the 80s so I suspect that is generally about the age of these. Again, another great little piece for your dishware collection. And this was nothing special as far as the brand or the make of it, but if you love to decorate with that modern farmhouse, this picture would fit right on in with that. And never take your eyes off of DIY projects. This metal container was pretty as it is, but I could see it being made over into something that was unique and customized for your home. With the holidays fast approaching, a punch bowl with all of the serving pieces would be a nice addition. And for $2.99, snag this pie plate and it is something that you could bake and give away. The thrift store is the perfect place to look for lamps and lampshades. On this particular day, it was looking a little skimpy on the selection, but I regularly frequent the lamp section and look to see what they have. You can come across some wonderful vintage pieces. I have a whole video on lamps. I love them that much. Thrifted artwork is another way to get beautiful and stylish home decor on a budget. Of course, it is always ideal when you can find the frame and picture that you love all together, but don't be afraid to swap out that print or DIY the frame to give you the look that you're going for in your home. This mirror was high quality, solid wood with all that carved detail on it, and it was only $10. Here you can see the state of my Goodwill. It has been a little bit lacking, so we're going to hit up some estate sales next. I'm going to show you as much as I can. I always try to be respectful of other shoppers, not showing them on film, and not getting in their way and blocking up the area to film. So I'll show you what I can, and if I missed a price tag for you, please don't hesitate to drop a comment and let me know. I'll be happy to help you out. This 
estate sale was full of beautiful vintage treasures and you can thrift more than vintage home decor but that is my aesthetic so of course that's what I'm drawn to and what I love to share with you here on my channel. I am very fond of these vintage and antique mixing bowls. This one was a little bit pricey and I had one very similar to it at home so I left this one behind but you will see a little bit later in the video at another estate sale I found the perfect vintage bowl to add to my collection. This is how I like to display and store my vintage bowls when I'm not using them. You can see here I have a lot of collected thrifted treasures. All of these were very affordable and budget friendly. kitchen was a popular place so I couldn't sit here and show you all of these beautiful pieces and all of the individual pricing on them I was kind of in the way but you can see there was quite the collection and I really loved this cobalt blue Oneida petals dinnerware each piece was individually priced and there was a big selection here upstairs at this estate sale I found this little decorative chair now I think that this was probably a replica it looked too new to to be antique perhaps it still could have been vintage but that caning I don't know let me know if you would have bought it and fixed that I contemplated it for quite a while but it was more of a project than I'm willing to take on at this time What most people see is an old letter sorter what I see is a plate rack holder this was not exactly what I was looking for, so I am going to hold off and stay hopeful that I find something more like what I put in that picture there. And that is one of the most important things to remember when it comes to thrifting budget-friendly home decor, and it's that it's not about sacrificing style for the sake of saving a buck or buying it now. It's about being resourceful and patient. It's about getting creative and thinking outside of the box with that little bit of patience and practicing self-control you can create that space that truly reflects your own personality without going over budget mother used to have a dried floral arrangement in a frame similar to this one. I was drawn to the pretty blue velvet and that oval shape and knew it would be a perfect little treasure to add into my home decor. Plus you'll see here in a second how I'm already thinking of Christmas and that it would be the perfect ornament for my tree. spent two dollars on this little frame it is so cute it's about three inches by three inches and such a unique shape and size I printed off a landscape portrait at Walgreens I trimmed it down and I stuck it in this little frame it is going to be a cute addition to tuck in and amongst my other decor a one-of-a-kind piece that no one else will have and speaking of unique and one-of-a-kind well, probably not one of a kind. These were probably mass produced, but they were hand painted tiles from Holland. These are ceramic and I loved the pictures that were depicted on them. Now, back way in the summer, I thrifted these picture frames for 50 cents each. They have just been hanging out in my crafting stash. When I saw these tiles, I knew that they would be the perfect insert for those frames. I plan to DIY these figure out a way to mount them inside of those frames and make it a special piece of art when I do that I will be sure and record it and bring it to you because I love sharing home decor DIYs from thrifted finds
These lamp bases match my aesthetic perfectly and I wanted to bring them home with me so bad but I do not have two tables big enough that require such large lamps so I had to leave them behind. I did not have to leave behind this $10.50 vintage landscape artwork though. been seeing sets of vintage quail a lot lately so if you would like to have something like this in your home decor keep your eye out I have recently thrifted a couple of this was a single white home co whale that I thrifted and shared in my fall thrift haul along with a set of two brown quail they have been so fun to decorate with in my home earlier in the video that I found the perfect vintage bowl to add to my collection and here it is and look at that price I only paid eight dollars for it and this is where that patience comes in it saved me forty dollars I saved so much money by skipping on the $48 bowl that was similar to one I already had and just shopped and shopped and shopped until I found this one and it has the blue striping that will go beautifully with all my blue and white transfer wear and it is something completely different that I can add to my collection. ever found yourself in a situation and thought what am I even doing here that is what happened on my little road trip to pick up these blue willow wear dishes I found these on Facebook marketplace and it required me to make a little journey and I was definitely careful showing up at somebody's home I actually had a mutual friend in common with them on Facebook and they were so sweet and lovely. They helped me to complete a lot of pieces that I needed in my Churchill Blue Willow dishes. I use these as my everyday dishes. Now I look for the ones that are microwave and dishwasher safe, so they are the newer ones. While I was there, she had a lot of other vintage serving pieces that went with this pattern. So I got all of these for $3 each. The creamer and sugar dishes were a little bit more, but everything was very affordable. And while I was there, I noticed this champagne bucket. It is silver plated and when I first saw it, I thought, I am going to use that at Christmas to put a Christmas tree in. Even before Christmas, there are so many things that you can do to decorate with these champagne buckets. I recently shared with you how I styled it for my fall decorating. This is going to be beautiful throughout my home all year long. And this just proves you can get good quality thrifted home decor on a budget that does not empty your wallet. I am now going to share with you some random estate sale and garage sale finds that I have come across. One of my hobbies is to go on Thursdays and Fridays and shop the sales. People always tell me I find the best thrifted items and that is the key to go often. That is how I find all of the things that I do. I shop often and I pass up on what I don't love and I only bring home things that are extra special and have a purpose and a place in my home like this rooster casserole dish that I can use to store those everyday items that I don't want sitting out all the time.
Do I have any Wedgwood lovers out there watching today? I found these two collector's miniature Wedgwood plates. This was the first time I had seen these in person at a sale, which is ironic given that I then saw two of them within the span of a few days. So of course I had to buy these. The one that came with the little stand was $5. The other one was considerably less. I did not like that plastic stand so much. I just took a little antique gold rub and buff, put that on there, let it dry good, and then it was ready to decorate with. I'm ever lucky enough to find more of these miniature wedge wood plates then I would love to arrange them on a wall display and hang them but for now I'm going to display them here in my Facebook marketplace $40 antique secretary find I shared the whole saga of this and how I restored it in a previous video if you care to go and look at that I will have it linked for you down below These were such a great addition and I'm going to be on the hunt for more of these. When it comes to budget friendly thrifted decor, the possibilities are truly endless. From upcycling old furniture to repurposing vintage items, the key is to think outside of the box and be open to trying new things like I did here with these little miniature Wedgwood plates. Sometimes it is also about the little things that elevate your home and make it look high end even though you did not spend a lot of money. I picked up this vintage trivet at an estate sale for $1. It makes a great accent piece under my candle. It just grounds the candle down to the vignette and gives it that extra special touch that is cozy, warm, and inviting. to budget-friendly home decor that you thrift. It is not about sacrificing style. It's about being resourceful, getting creative, and thinking outside the box. With a little patience and practice, you can create a space that's truly reflective of your personal style and you save money while doing it. Keep joining in. I will keep sharing budget-friendly finds and home decor. I will give you all the styling inspiration you need to create a home that you love spending time in. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. If you have any favorite thrifted budget decor tips, I would love to hear them in the comments below. And let me know what your favorite find from today's video was. If you are looking for more decorating inspiration and ideas with thrifted finds, be sure to check out my other videos for some serious inspiration. Until I see you again soon, have a wonderful and blessed day.